Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Math with Sir Kiko. In today's lesson, we're going to discuss again the how to convert fraction to terminating decimal. This will be a part 2 of our lesson. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's go. So, again, we're going to discuss the Mathematics 5 quarter to week number 4, converting fraction to terminating decimal. So, this would be day number 4. So, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to convert fractions to terminating decimal. Again, how do we convert the fraction to decimal? The simple process is just you're going to dis divide the numerator by the denominator. Again, divide the numerator by the denominator. So, let's have some example. We have one pip to convert to decimal. One is inside the long division bar. And then 5 is in the outside the long division bar. Again, we're going to divide the numerator to denominator. 1 divided by 5, the answer is 0. Then 0 times 5, the answer is 0. Then subtract, the answer is 1. Then add 0. So uh, if you add 0, you're going to place the decimal point. Then bring down 0. 10 divided by 5, the answer is 2. Then 2 times 5, the answer is 10. Then 10 minus 10, the answer is 0. Therefore, the equivalent uh, decimal number of 1 pip is 2 tenths. Okay? That's it. Number 2. 3 over 20. Convert to decimal. So 3 is inside the long division bar. 20 is outside the long division bar. Then proceed to division. 3 divided by 20, the answer is 0. Then, 0 times 20, the answer is 0. Then, 3 minus uh, 0, the answer is 3. Then, add 0. If you add 0, you're going to place the decimal point. So, bring down 0. Now, we have 30 divided by 20. The answer is 1. Correct. So, 1 times 20, the answer is 20. Then, 30 minus 20, the answer is 10. Then, add 0. Bring it down. So, therefore, we have 100 divided by 20. The answer is correct. The answer is 5. 5 times 20, the answer is 100. Then, 100 minus 100, the answer is 0. Therefore, the equivalent value of 3 over 20 is equal to 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths. Okay? Number 3. We have 7 over 25. What would be the equivalent decimal or terminating decimal of 7 over 25? Place 7 inside the long division bar. We have 20 outside the long division bar. Now, we have to divide 7 divided by 25. The answer is 0. 0 times 25, the answer is 0. Then subtract. 7 minus 0, the answer is 7. Then add 0. You add 0, you're going to place the decimal point again. So, Bring it down. So, we have now 70 divided by 25. How many 25 in 70? Correct. The answer is 2. Then, 2 times 25. 225 is 50. Then, subtract. 70 subtracted by 50. The answer is 20. Then, add 0 again. Bring it down. So, therefore, we have 200 divided by 20. 5. The answer is correct. The answer is 8. 8 times 25, the answer is 200. Therefore, 200 times 200, uh, 200 minus 200, the answer is 0. So, therefore, 7 over 25 is equivalent to 2800. Okay? So, example number 4, 9 over 50. 9 over 50, so 50 is, 9 is inside the long division bar and 50 is outside the long division bar. And proceed to division. 9 divided by 50, the answer is 0. Then multiply, 0. Then 9 minus 0, the answer is 9. Add 0, therefore you're going to place the decimal point. Then bring it down. Then we have now 90. How many, nine, uh, how many 50 90? We have 1. Correct. 1 times 5, the answer is 50. Then 90 minus 50, the answer is Correct, 40. And then add 0. Now, we have 400 divided by 50. How many 50 in 400? Correct, the answer is 8. So, 8 times 50, the answer is 400. Then subtract 0. Therefore, the equivalent decimal of 9 over 50 is equal to 
1800s. Okay? Uh, last example. So, we have 3 eighths. 3 eighths, 3 inside the long division bar. 8 is outside the long division bar. Now, proceed to division. 3 divided by 8. Correct. The answer is 0. Then, 0 times 8. The answer is correct. 0. And subtract. 3 minus 0. 3. And add 0. We're going to place the decimal point. Bring it down. So, we have now 30 divided by 28. How many 8? Correct. The answer is 3. Then, 3 times 8. The answer is 24. Then, subtract. 30 divided and minus 24, the answer is 6. Bring out 0 and bring it down. So therefore, we have 60 divided by 8. The answer is 48. Then that would be 7. 7 times 8, the answer is correct, 56. Now, we have 60 minus uh, 56, the answer is 4. Then Add 0, then ring it down, we have 40. 40 divided by 8, the answer is 5. 5 times 8, the answer is 40. Then, that would be 0. Therefore, the equivalent decimal of 3, 8 is equal to 375,000. Okay? So, that's it. So, again, in converting the fraction to decimal, Always remember that you need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So, for your guided practice, convert the following fraction to terminating decimal. So, comment down your answer in the comment section. For number 1, we have 7 over 10. For number 2, we have 13 over 25. Okay? And for number 3, we have 19 over 20. And for 21, we have, or number 4, we have 21 over 40. Comment down your answer in the comment section. Okay, correct. For, for number 1, the answer must be 0 0.7 or 7 tenths. For number 2, the answer is 5200 or 0 0.52. For number 3, we have 95 hundreds. That would be 0 0.95. And for number 4, we have 525,000 or 0 0.525. Very good. Grade 5 pupils. Take note, in converting a fraction to terminating decimal, always remember, you need to divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay? So, for your uh, practice exercises, convert the following fraction to to terminating decimal. Try to answer it on your notebook. So, for number 1, we have 7 over 20, 17 over 20. For number 2, 11 over 25. For number 3, we have 23 over 50. And number 4, we have 29 over 100. Okay? That's it. Thank you, everyone, and God bless.